Hey guys, it's Conan and today I'm doing something that I've always kind of thought was a little bit redundant. But by far it has been one of the most requested things on my channel ever of all time. And so I thought, I guess since people want to see it, I guess I'll do it. Today I'm going to teach you how to thrift shop. Which whenever I saw people commenting like, teach us how to thrift shop, teach us thrifting tips, I always kind of thought, I don't really know, I just go and I shop. But after like really thinking about it, I guess there are some things that I do that most people don't really do when they're thrift shopping, so I'm gonna try to give you guys some tips. I love thrift shopping because it's one of the ways that you get to experiment with fashion and room decor and so many things like that without having to spend too much money. And I think it's really cool that you get to reuse clothing. That way, beautiful pieces of clothing don't get thrown out. I very conveniently live in a town that has a lot of old people. I live in a town that really started mainly because it was an old person community, like a senior citizen community. So so I have really good stuff in my thrift stores, but when I have like gone out of my town and gone to other thrift stores out of my town, I still find great things. So I think you just really have to dig. And that's what I love about thrifting really is like really searching and digging, sometimes going to really like sketchy stores and finding something absolutely beautiful. It makes you feel very accomplished. So let's just get started on the tips. What to bring. Definitely bring a phone, headphones, and an open mind. Whenever I go thrift shopping, I enter the store without having the slightest idea of what I want to get or what I'm expecting to find because you can never guarantee there being a certain thing there. So if you just go with an open mind and really look at everything, then it's much easier to find something that you're going to love over looking for one specific like t-shirt that has this color because that's dumb. Don't do that. I bring my phone and headphones because I really like to listen to music while I'm thrift shopping just because it makes me slow down and really look at every single single article of clothing and really imagine what potential each article of clothing has. When you're in a rush, you just kind of like look at the things that look blatantly good, but I usually don't like the things that look blatantly good. I like the things that are kind of weird and kind of unique, but when put in certain situations looks really good. So that's why I like to listen to music, just to slow down and really take your time. Next tip is to wear something really simple. By wearing something that's really simple and bland and matchable, it makes it a lot easier for you to imagine Imagine what kinds of things would look good. Also that way you don't like knock something that you could really like but doesn't match your outfit at the time. I can't tell if I like this one or not. I always wear my black shorts and a white t-shirt just because I feel like everything matches black shorts and a white t-shirt. Also since it's currently springtime I'm really only looking for like tops and things so top doesn't really matter I'm usually just like taking it on and off. So black shorts are really important because everything matches with black right? Not all things but most things so it makes it a lot easier for me to fall in love with something that may not seem very good, but is very good. Next tip is to find some inspo. This tip may seem pretty dumb, but I was thinking about it and I really wouldn't wear like half of the things that I wear today if it weren't for me seeing other people that I really like wearing these things really well. I would never have bought probably this t-shirt. I probably would have never bought this t-shirt if I didn't see some celebrity or some internet blogger wearing something that was kind of similar to this. I definitely take inspiration from a bunch of different people, boys and girls. I feel like my clothing style is pretty androgynous. I feel like anybody could really wear the clothes that I wear. Fashion bloggers who I adore are I am Karen O. I just love her style. I love my pal Annabelle, cat creature. She has a great fashion. I love Connor Franta's clothes. He always has the nicest clothes. Like I really wish I could steal his closet. A lot of musicians actually, I do take a lot of outfit inspiration from. So just find a few people that you love and use their confidence in fashion to help you grow in your fashion sense as well. If it weren't for them, I probably wouldn't be wearing any of the clothes that I'm wearing today. So it's definitely really important to find inspiration. Next tip, which is probably the most important tip, is to look through everything. Like really look through everything. And I feel like people don't do this. You really have to look through everything. There have been so many times that I almost overlooked something that I really, really ended up loving just because upon like immediate eyesight, you don't really have the time to 
process what you're seeing. So you really have to look through every single thing. And that goes back to my other tip. That's why I listen to music because it really gets you to look through every single thing. Even if it's some disgusting like neon color and you already know that you're gonna hate it, just look because it might be something amazing. And that's the beauty of thrift shopping. You never know when you're gonna find something absolutely beautiful in the midst of all these ugly t-shirts. You'd never know. So you really have to look. People always comment on my videos like, how do you find good things at thrift shops? And the truth is, I go like once a week and sometimes I'll go and there'll be nothing there but other times I'll go and there'll be tons of stuff there you just have to visit frequently check out everything make sure that you've looked at every single section and eventually you'll find something really cool I promise next tip is to push your boundaries quite often I'll find something that at first kind of think is really ugly but then for some reason it's really ugly but I really like it and I can't explain why when you find things like this that you kind of don't know why you like them but you really like them try it on because sometimes when you try something on it'll fit you perfectly you love the way it looks on your body and then it'll be like okay I'm gonna get this even though it's weird I'm gonna get it an important tip that I used to not listen to was to look in both genders each one of the gendered sections has different things that that they specialize in so the men's section has really good over shirts, good denim, great t-shirts, and great jackets. They have great jackets and like sweatshirts and things like that. The women's section has great t-shirts, good scarves, and this may sound like a weird one, but I really like to buy scarves for wall decorations and to wrap my friend's presents. I had a friend who used to wrap all of my presents in really pretty like silk scarves that she'd get for like 10 cents at the thrift store, and it was just the prettiest thing, so good scarves in the women's section and they also have good hats both sections have hats so go to both sections if you're looking for baseball caps for me since I'm a guy it's a little bit harder for me to find things in the women's section that like fit me that aren't too small or are like a kind of weird cut you know I have pretty broad shoulders so like if I try something on that's women's like you can usually tell because like the shoulder is like right here and then like here's my shoulders but I never knock it sometimes I'll go in there and there'll be like an amazing sweater in there and I don't know why it's in there but it is so just check both sections you never know Last tip is to check a lot of different stores and also check those stores very frequently. The thing about those stores is they're open to everybody and there's only one of each thing. If you check frequently, you're more likely to find that gem that's only on the shelf for like a day because it's so good and people will just grab that thing right off. Also by checking different stores, you can get a really different demographic of clothes. That's the only word I can use to explain it. For example, the Goodwill that's like right next to my home has a lot of great old person clothes. Bomber jackets and like like chunky knit sweaters and turtlenecks and parachute jackets and stuff like that but the t-shirt collection is kind of small because I guess old people don't wear that many t-shirts or something they wear different things so there's not that many t-shirts and I really love t-shirts so that's when I go to the Salvation Army that's kind of like 15 minutes away by checking a bunch of different places each store has different things because they're all being donated from different demographics so that's why it's important to check out a bunch of different stores if you're looking for a certain thing but like I said, really don't go into thrift stores with the thought of looking for a certain thing because you probably won't find it. Another thing that has been really interesting to me is thrift shopping while traveling. And I know everybody doesn't like travel a bunch and I don't travel that much, but I thrift shopped while I was in California and it was really interesting to see how different the things at thrift stores in California were. California had a bunch of like Hawaiian t-shirts. That sounds cliche, but there were so many Hawaiian t-shirts. There was like nothing bulky because obviously the weather is a lot warmer there. So there were no like big puffy jackets, but like in Vancouver, there were lots of big puffy jackets because it's a lot colder there. Each region has special things. So keep that in mind anytime you go traveling. It might be like a little fun activity to do. So those are all the tips that I can give you on thrift shopping. I hope that this suffice. I got asked to make this video so many times and I didn't really know what you guys wanted. I didn't know if you guys wanted to know like the big secret, but there is no big secret. If y'all know any more tips that may be useful, comment them down below because I really don't know that many tips. I'm also kind of curious. In the comments below, I'd love for you guys to tell me like what your favorite thing that you ever found at the thrift store was because there are some things that I found at thrift stores that I've just been shocked that I found because they're so amazing and I'd love to hear your guys' goodies. Goodies? What kind of word is that? Why do I always sound like a mother who's like handing out Halloween candy. I'm okay with it. I like myself. It's fine. It's fine, Coney. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and this answered a few of your questions. I'll see you guys in a few days with a brand new video. God bless and goodbye. Pew.